Hey, what's going on, guys? The Horror Man back for the ABCs of Horror Challenge with my review of Alien from the Abyss. The ABCs of Horror Challenge was introduced by my buddy Rob over at Rob's Nightmares. He recently uploaded a video covering the guidelines. Rob and I had discussed this idea in the past. I had thought of something similar years ago, but never got around to actually doing it. Jason also had a similar idea and actually did something like this as a collaboration with another YouTuber who is no longer on YouTube. But in this specific form, the ABCs of Horror Challenge has never been done. Until now, that is. And I'm excited to begin. The rules are simple. We start with the letter A, choose a horror movie with a title that begins with the letter A, watch it, and review it. Then we make our way through the rest of the alphabets, reviewing a horror movie that begins with the letter B, then the letter C, and so on. There are no deadlines. This is a challenge in which anyone can participate at their own pace. You can do it every week, every other week, every month, or whenever you feel like it. You just have to go in order without skipping any letters, and all of the movies you review must be horror. Of course, horror is subjective, so take it as you will. You can expect my and Jason's ABCs of Horror Challenge reviews once a month, typically on a Friday like today. And of course, Rob will be uploading his reviews at his own pace. All of you are invited to join in as well. Now, obviously, as you can see, the movie I selected for my A review is Alien from the Abyss. Released in 1989, Alien from the Abyss, also known as Alien from the Deep, was directed by Antonio Margheriti. It's an Italian horror creature feature, and man, oh man, is it fun. This here is my Severin Blu-ray edition of the film. Jane is a Greenpeace investigative reporter who sneaks onto a tropical island with her cameraman, Lee. The island serves as a location for an Echem power facility. Jane and Lee film the irresponsible methods of the corporation on trusty old VHS tape, of course. It seems the company has been tossing radioactive waste into the pit of an active volcano. Jane and Lee manage to capture some incriminating footage, but just as they're about to leave, they are caught. Jane gets away, however, while Lee is held captive, but not before hiding the VHS. By the way, with how many times the characters say the words, the tape, in this movie, it probably could have been titled, The Tape. Of course, if it were, I wouldn't be able to review it for A in the ABCs of Horror Challenge. Charles Napier plays Colonel Kovacs, who is in charge of security at the plant. He sends his men to capture Jane, and not just capture her, but kill her if it comes to that. They really, really want that tape. It's too bad Kovacs didn't call Rambo for his assistance. For those of you who don't understand that reference, Charles Napier also played Murdoch. As she tries to elude Kovacs' men, Jane is rescued by Bob, a snake farmer. He's on the island hunting snakes for their venom. While watching Alien from the Abyss, I could not for the life of me figure out who it was that Bob reminded me of. In the end, I'd say he's a mix of Jeffrey Combs, Michael Bean, and Joe Pantoliano, but specifically from The Goonies. Now, with Bob's help, Jane attempts to save Lee, 
while also searching for the tape. Ultimately, though, they're all pretty much screwed because an alien life form has been attracted to the site by the leaking radioactive material. The alien from the abyss begins a killing spree, massacring all of the plant workers. It also exudes green fluid that causes gruesome infections. Will Jane and Bob rescue Lee? Can they continue to run and hide from Kovacs and his men? Will Jane ever find the tape? And how will any of them survive the wrath of the alien from the abyss? With this being an English-dubbed Italian horror film, and based on the plot, I was immediately reminded of the Doug episode, The Abnormal which I discussed during my TV scaries a few years back. Just like the abnormal, Alien from the Abyss is so over-the-top cheesy. That, by the way, is not a negative. This movie is a blast. I love the look of the creature, and the gore effects are really well done. There's no CGI here, folks. They're all practical effects. The tropical island location is really cool. I love the performances and dialogue delivery from the characters. All of that just added to my enjoyment of the film. It's one of those movies that you can't help but to laugh at certain moments. Maybe even when you're not supposed to. Characters screaming and their reaction to things. Like I said, it's also over the top, and I loved every minute of it. This is not meant to be some highbrow cinematic experience. So if that's what you'd expect from it, get real. Alien from the Abyss is extremely fun and immensely entertaining. And hey, it starts with A. That's why I reviewed it today for the ABCs of Horror. Please be sure to check out Rob's and Jason's A-Review videos as well, and anyone else who decides to participate. Have you seen Alien from the Abyss or Alien from the Deep? If so, what do you think of it? Comment below and let me know. What will my B-Review be for the ABCs of Horror? Check back soon to find out. Until then, remember, physical media matters. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that thumbs up and be kind. Subscribe.